Hey guys, welcome back. Kyle Dittman here, Bullion RV, Duluth, Minnesota. Today I get a brand new microphone to work with, so hopefully that sound is there for you guys. Also, we got a brand new 2023 2800BH from Grand Design, it's the Imagine. So we'll get you around the outside like we always do, and we'll get you inside, and we'll see what you think. We're starting a little different here. We usually start up front, but in the back, we're gonna start because we got this great mole ride, flat top, cooktop here pulls out nice ways away from the camper, has all this extra backsplash to protect the inside. Um, on the inside of this camper, you do have a couple plugs and some lights in here, so you can put some things up here to charge, um, but it does have this great backsplash and pulls away. Love that. Moving away from the two burners, the flat top is really great, and it's got multiple heat settings, so that's gonna be awesome, especially with the bunkhouse cooking for a crew. Nice outdoor fridge, keep the cool beverages out here so you're not having to run in and out of the camper. Um, also right next to there is a spray port. So a nice water spray port back here. So spraying off dishes, the kids, the stairs, all that good stuff. Bringing out the front, outdoor speakers under the great big awning with LED lights that run under the whole awning, which is gonna be awesome. None of the doors are obstructed by the awning arm, so I really like that. You got aluminum rims with uh, filled with nitro, so it's really gonna help with the different temperature climates. You're not gonna have the um, air pressure kind of losing on you there. Um, water fill up front, cable, and power right up front as well. Um, on your main entry door, you're gonna have the mole ride solid steps or the step at step above steps, so bumping in and out of there is gonna be really nice. And then up on the bedroom, you got these really nice uh, aluminum steps, so um, still the three triple step, but they are gonna prevent a little more rust with the materials that they're made, so. Um, really like the friction hinge doors on these units, and like I said, this one doesn't have the awning obstructed it. Um, has kind of this milky, kind of broken glass look to the, to the glass, kind of give you that privacy glass, which is gonna be really nice. Imagine does an amazing job with the size of their compartment doors and the compartments up front. I mean, just look at that. You can get a cooler in there. One of the largest doors in camper. One of the largest storage doors in the campers that are out there. Um, another really nice thing is not only are they held up by magnets, no more breaking any clips, but look at the thickness on that door, the insulation that's put into this door, the time and quality um, is there, even in your storage doors. So really nice feature there. On the inside of the camper, you know, with this being a bunkhouse, if you do have a huge crew and that small fridge isn't big enough for you, you got plug-ins out here. You can maybe get another small fridge off of Amazon or something like that. This is going to be for your spray port. You also have a hot and cold water over in the water bay. And then your 50 amp cord, because this is prepped for a second AC if you wanted to put one of those in there as well. So. Um, these lights are both going to be motion lights, or you can just have them on, or you can have them on motion, so when you open the doors, they're going to be set for you. It's really great. All right, on the front of the Imagines, you get this really big uh, fiberglass front cap, really nice LED docking lights. They give you a little section of almost that Linex kind of feel, uh, bed trailer a little bit above that, and then a rock guard right below that. So, I mean, half the front of your cap it's got a really nice protection from the rocks, and you have this really nice, stable uh, fiberglass front cap, too. Also up front, you got your power tongue jack, um, two 20-pound LP tanks that we're going to fill for you here at Bullion RV, part of the deal. We're also throwing in one 27 deep cycle battery with a battery box that's going to live right behind there, too. So, really great. Come around, like I said, this is the water station here. You got your battery disconnect. You got your hot and cold uh, shower outside, satellite cable, all that good stuff. Um, you are prepped for a tire link. So if you wanted to put a tire link pressure system monitor in there, you're all prepped and ready to go. This does have a solar panel on the roof. So you got a 165 watt solar panel on the roof. So you're gonna have your solar controller right in here. And then also notice the aluminum frame construction in here too. One really nice big slide box on this unit. It's gonna have the dinette and a couple chairs in it, so we'll show you more of that when we get on the inside. Right in the back, you're gonna have a black tank flush. So for the toilet, hook up a hose, spray that out, keep down on the smells of your camper. Also up back is gonna be uh, one of your gray tank dumps here. And then you do have a really nice convenience light 
So if you're taking off early in the morning, it's still dark, you're getting into the campsite late at night and hooking up, you got the convenience light out back. Grand Design is throwing uh, ladders on their units. So nice ladder built in to get to the roof, check your seals, check the top of your slides, make sure there's no debris up there and kind of extend the life of your camper. A little bit of maintenance. Having the ladder on board is gonna be great. Full size spare for you as well. Also the Furion on-demand hot water heater right back here. Oh, and then it is prepped. It is prepped for a backup camera. So if you want to throw a backup camera, it's wired and prepped and ready for that. So, all right, let's swing inside. Right as you're coming up the stairs, like I said, with a bunkhouse unit, you're gonna have a whole crew, a bunch of little kids, you know, 90, 80% of the people camping also camp with their pets. So just keep this area clean, spot to throw your shoes right down here, spot to throw your coats and stuff like that. And then you also have a really nice storage, little compartment to throw some things right as you walk in as well. Compass Connect is Bluetooth connectability. You can run slides, you can run lights, you can put out your awning, check your tanks, all from an app on your phone, all from right here, two different areas, really like that. And then it is motion sensors, so those lights go off when you're not by it, when you walk by, they pop on, kind of neat. Two double over double bunks right in the back. So, two adults, four kids, friends, family, whatever you got going on. Really nice feature here too. So if you bring, let's say the kids' bikes, extra gear, this bottom bunk folds up to give you that extra height in there, locks into play. So you can slide all the stuff in there. Um, if you got dogs, throw their crates in there, throw their dog beds down there. That's a great spot for them, I think. Then both sides, or both top and bottom, are gonna have, have a USB plug on the top, and then they have the power plug on the bottom. So a little difference between the two of them, but still power stations. Also right in the back, which I really love. So it's just up the stairs into the back. You got your bathroom, porcelain stool, pretty decent sink um, size with a little bit of counter space that comes over here. A little bit of corner medicine cabinet action, storage below. And then you even got more storage down here. You can throw the small little garbage can. Roll some towels up, throw them in these deep. And, and these are super deep. I can't even touch the back of the wall with those. Getting in the shower, good size shower. For you taller folks, it does have this little um, sky dome, you know, sunlight, whatever you want to call it. But it gives you an extra headroom in here, but still a lot of good space to get clean. This unit um, with the Imagines, they got the theater seats and inside the theater seats, you got heat, you got massage, you got the cool little blue lights down under there. So sit back and relax. It's right across from the TV, which I think is great. And then you have a ton of storage drawers right across from the TV too. Solid surface wood doors. You can just feel the quality, feel the build and the grand design. I really like that. Pop this open, throw your devices in here, whether it be a, a Roku device, Apple TV, whatever you got, PlayStation. If you're old school like me, maybe an NES, um, you know, Game Gear, whatever you got going on, throw that stuff in there. Furion, and then you got your TV on a swivel arm, so you can move that around, which is gonna be great. 12 volt refrigerators running off your truck when you're going down the road. They cool down so much faster. I don't know how long this has been plugged in, but it's already forming ice in the freezer. Um, no more plugging it in three days before you go to the campsite. No more having to waste gas going down the road, keeping your food cold. Um, and no more having to cut your pizza in half to fit it in the freezer. This thing fits everything. The fridge is huge. I really love that. These are another couple great storage doors. So um, it looks like those would be perfect for bottles of wine, or you could take it out and put whatever you want in there. But you know, everybody likes that. And then for your favorite pet and favorite buddy, you're always gonna have your food dish, water dish. I don't know what that's for. Maybe a row of tennis balls or something. But um, even if you forget the water dishes, you're always gonna have something on board with you, which is gonna be really awesome. And then 
For the team that loves to cook, look at the size of that pots and pans drawer. It is huge. It's a double drawer. You got these cool little wooden pegs so you can customize all the pots that you have so they're not bumping around. Keep them all in place. Really like that. And then again, good storage throughout the kitchen. And then under the sink as well. With the bunkhouse, since you're going to be cooking for a crew, cooking for a family, gives you a little extra counter extension here, which is going to be really nice. And then they give you these roll up uh, dish drying racks or just extend the counter space on here, which is awesome. And then throughout the kitchen. What I really like it is this tucks all the way back against the wall, and then you got more storage on this side. U-shaped uh, dinette. This table's drop down for a sleeper right now, so you take the cushions, kind of put them over there. This table does move, so you can kind of move that around, which is gonna be really nice. Um, what I would do is pull it against the wall. This is like a little ottoman, so you can tuck some blankets in here, extra pillows, whatever you got going on, board games. Um, but this does move, so you can move that out to this side, sit on it, maybe tuck that table back there, because it would get pretty tight in the back with that table in there. So that's kind of a cool little feature. And then back into the bedroom. So, in the bedroom, there's a lot to talk about, too. So you got different reading lights, the bright white, the little blue. Um, each side is going to have these little cubbies. So maybe you got a bunch of devices or maybe a smaller CPAP machine or something you got going on. You can always tuck that right in here, and those are on both sides. Overhead cabinets that are all held up on their cells, so you don't got to hold it up while you're storing it. And then this does pass through, so you can put some longer items in here, which is going to be really nice. And then you also got the storage, wardrobe storage on both sides of the camper. Nice pull out drawers. And then again, a small little shelf and power on either side of the bed as well. Up under the bed, if there's not enough storage there, you got under the bed and then you got this cool little cabinet here that does just have a little sliding racks on it. So you can just slide those back and forth and get at what you want. So put some blankets down there maybe. Uh, put your TV in here. So you got a TV backer on the wall there with the appropriate hookups in the ceiling. And then like I said before, this is a 50 amp service. So you are prepped and ready for a second AC here in the bedroom. So if that's something in the Northland here where we are in Duluth, not something you use all the time. Maybe that one time you do use it, you're really gonna love it. Um, if you do hot camping, warmer climates and kind of head south, that's something you might wanna look at. Um, I really also like the second entry door that comes into the bedroom. So if you got kids, uh, they're sleeping in the bunks, put them to bed early, you can still come and go out of here without having to come through the whole camper, which is gonna be great. So uh, that's kind of gonna wrap it up. Again, my name is Kyle Damon. We're here at Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're building it, we're growing it. We got Charlie, he's doing a great job making these videos for you guys. So really just kind of helping grow our channel is where we're at. So give us a call, let us know what we can do. Leave a comment down below. Again, my name is Kyle Dittman, 218-740-4964. Look forward to talking to you. Have a great day.